what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video we're going to be discussing the potential chance of some ideas that uh we're just going to discuss some ideas that rose mcgowan threw around last month in regards to her character possibly returning somehow in the upcoming screen in, a, in an upcoming screen project or any screen project however character character tatum riley could just return in general uh, we're also going to be discussing the chances of us having our um og voice of ghostface back roger l jackson and uh just get into some reasons as to why what Ro rose mcgowan was talking about just personally to me does not make would not make any sense would not be anything i would be up for uh there are some things that would factor into it that do support it i just wouldn't be a big fan of it um for those of you who stay up to date on anything regarding scream and keeping up with the cash you know rose mcgowan played the best friend of sydney prescott a lot of us would argue that tatum riley uh which was the name of the character dewey dewey's sister tatum riley was like the closest thing sydney had to a best friend outside of dewey uh in the series i believe her two best friends uh, outside of Hallie, of course, from Scream 2, I feel like the two who who rolled for Sydney the hardest are Tatum and Dewey. Uh, those are my two personal those are my personal opinions on who has been on the character of Sydney's side the hardest. I feel like it's been Tatum and Dewey. Uh, Rose McGowan shared some shared an idea actually that she had in regards to her character possibly being resurrected, not the character itself. Uh, she threw around the idea of tatum having a twin now what i will say is i can see where she I, maybe she's coming from the same place i'm getting at if you actually go back and you look at the original film tatum does have twin beds in her room after uh sydney punches gail weathers in the face uh during that altercation in the back alley of the police station they go back to tatum's house and we know Ghostface, Ghostface taunts Sydney some more there. Uh, but while we're shown Tatum's room, Tatum does have a, a set of twin beds. Uh, so maybe she's getting that idea from that. Now, what I will say about that is that doesn't mean anything. And the reason I personally can say that is because I actually grew up in a room full of twin beds. And I, I assure you, I do not have a twin by any means whatsoever. That bed set was... Um, specifically just something I, I i actually still don't even know why i had twin beds um <laughs> i just happen to have twin beds in my room but i'm i'm assuming rose mcgowan that's where she got this idea from the fact that if you go back and you look at the film tatum does have twin beds in her room now i'm just gonna get into what she had to say about about the whole idea of her character possibly being resurrected uh she thinks that that it would be an interesting idea if they brought her back and tatum had a twin that came back and was just looking for revenge basically she was like hell to the in her words as mcgowan put it she would be like hell to the no and the character would have dark hair and she would just be looking to revenge tatum my thing is after so many years and i feel like the only time this would have actually been something we could have lived with is in the original film if not the original film possibly even the second film more so the original film us finding out that tatum had a twin uh but not actually having not necessarily having a a, a twin who's gonna be a ghost face killer just it'd be nice to find out okay yeah she she had a twin which would explain the twin bed she has in her room um but the idea of bringing rose mcgowan back to reprise that role and it's not tatum it's now tatum's twin who's looking to get revenge uh i'm not on board for that not not this late in the game and i feel like at this point it's it's like dewey could have mentioned something about it dewey definitely could have mentioned something about it uh but basically the the twin was locked away in a psych ward anyway in, in mcgowan's head this is a crazy twin uh she's just she's been institutionalized and she got out and she's just looking for revenge she's she's basically the shame of the family uh because the because uh the family as we've come to find out in in whatever world or film she is thinking of mcgowan is picturing us having find out that the rileys were a perfect family and that her twin was the outcast so she had to be locked away uh but at the same time rose mcgowan herself isn't even up for acting anymore so i don't think 
I know we know that Spyglass Media and Radio Silence are looking at bringing back some some other legacy cast members. Rose McGowan herself isn't up for acting anymore. She said that not too long ago in this same in this same interview she did. This was a few months ago. This interview she had not even a few last month. She had an interview where she sat down with in Indie Wire, where she basically says she's done acting. She doesn't want to act anymore. Uh, but she did toss around that idea of, of uh, Tatum possibly having a twin. The biggest issue I have with that, again, is it's been far too long for us to feel like we need to find out something like that at this stage in the game. Uh, another issue I have with that is Dewey not mentioning anything about that. Same thing how you, some of you guys have an issue with Stu showing up alive, but yet Gail Weathers never found out about this. And then on top of that, they never... They, at some point, someone would have brought up Stu. I just find it hard to believe that if Stu is revealed as a killer in the in the screen film how that's the that's the biggest issue with that how how is it that nobody mentioned him before if he actually survived that whole ordeal at the at the end of the first movie same thing with tatum having a twin how is it that dewey didn't mention i can understand if she's like a disgrace to the family but that also begs begs the question then of course um how long have tatum and sydney actually been friends because if she didn't know about the twin that would suggest that Tatum and Sydney, we I don't think it's ever really specified how long Tatum and Sydney have been friends in the original film. But assuming if Sydney finds out Tatum had a twin and this twin is now Ghostface, that would mean that they weren't friends for quite that long. Maybe they've possibly only been friends since the start of high school. And this twin's been locked away for quite some time. Another thing that I wanted to toss around was how I was going to go into the idea of it possibly being a fraternal twin, but Rose McGowan is basically stating that she would come back to reprise a role as Tatum, but it's not Tatum, it's Tatum's twin. So we don't have that option. It's going to be an identical twin. I'm not even up for that. I'm not up for that whatsoever. Uh, Rose McGowan, I think her character should have had a... Honestly, the character of Tatum, I don't think Tatum should have died, honestly. Out of the two in the original film if we had to pick one who we'd rather have now i'd rather have have us with a set of a set of three strong leads in in females with us having sydney prescott tatum riley and gail weathers uh dewey could have out of out of the siblings of the rileys i feel like dewey could have been gone tatum I, and still to this day i that's just something that's always bothered me tatum was such a good friend to sydney it always kind of is bothersome to me that she that she died in the first film because i feel like if she what would all the films be like if tatum had survived at the end of the at the end of the first movie and instead of us having dewey and sydney we have tatum and sydney and their relationship just growing and building across the series and instead of it being dewey sydney and gail it's tatum sydney and gail uh i don't know how exactly that would all played out of course uh given that I know that Courtney Cox's character in the film, Gail Weathers, isn't isn't a lesbian. So, of course, we're not going to see Tatum hooking up with Gail Weathers. But I feel like that would have been an interesting dynamic and a nice switch. And I feel like it would have been more fitting to have the series. And I know a lot of people are going to be in the comment section disagreeing because it's been so long. And we all, we all are used to the characters of Sydney, Gail, and Dewey. But in my honest opinion, I feel like we could have dropped Dewey in the first film and kept Tatum instead of the other way around. Uh, Tatum could have been the one who we've been following with Sydney and Gail for Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4, and now the upcoming Scream, uh, Scream 5, whenever that is set to release. Uh, the, the whole idea of her having a twin, it's not really something that I could get behind, just because of the sake of the fact that, again, it's been too long since the original film, and then for us to find out something like this this far, this far deep into the franchise, I feel like it's a little bit unnecessary. Uh, a lot of other people have been talking about uh, the character of randy possibly being alive somehow he faked his death I, none of that stuff is anything that would be of interest to me um the only only thing that i really could realistically realistically see happening is Stu somehow being alive but of course even then that in itself wouldn't make a whole lot of sense we've already discussed this in the comment section in a variety of different ways um but moving on to another topic as i mentioned i want to talk about roger l jackson possibly returning as ghostface i'm hoping he does i'm i seriously hope that they get him back because he he did the mtv screen three season he 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 was the voice of ghostface in the season in the third season of mtv scream series uh which then actually not even mtvs the third season was vh1s if i'm not mistaken uh roger l jackson did return for the um 
the voicing department to be the voice of Ghostface in the season three of Scream uh, for the TV series. So I don't see why he wouldn't be back on board for a full feature film um, after he's been a part of all of them. He's been the voice of Ghostface in all four films, and I hope he gets to come back to do it again. And of course, I would also like to see some branching out here. I, would, I don't just want us to see Ghostface taunting them by the phone because... Things have changed quite then. Uh, we have live Skype chats now. We have all these different things that all these cool different ways I believe Ghostface could talk to them. Snapchat, all these social media things, live streams of on several platforms. I just I hope Screen 5 uses Ghostface in several inventive ways. He can still, of course, have that voice changer. How they go about in implementing that, I don't know. Maybe we'll even get to see that Ghostface app brought back. As I believe at the time when that in the fourth film, there's a Ghostface app, and I believe at the time we actually had our own our own version of that app available on app stores, and then that kind of just vanished. So hopefully, they, I hope they can use that as like a marketing strategy for the fifth film. Uh, I hope Roger L. Jackson is able to come back and reprise his uh, role as Ghostface in the voice of Ghostface because the voice is him playing that voice is just something we're all very used to. It's very iconic. It's very familiar. It's very menacing. It's very threatening. And I feel like if we're going to if we're going to have something that's going to revitalize the franchise or something that's going to be coming back to kind of finish off where Screen 4 started, because Screen 4, the whole idea there again was to start a new trilogy. We need to have at least have that iconic voice of Roger L. Jackson and that menacing voice. And if it's not him, of course, somebody very similar. But I feel like he's the only one that we would be interested in hearing at this point in, at this point in the game. Uh, Roger L. Jackson being back as the voice of Ghostface is everything that I would want. Um, I'm not really interested in Rose McGowan, Rose McGowan coming back as Tatum's twin. I'm not interested in do we have any more siblings. We don't need any more of that. <laughs> But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And of course, with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.